What's up guys and welcome to my first video ever on PC. Today I'm on the Lenovo Legion 5 laptop. It's a very high quality laptop and I 10 out of 10 will recommend this laptop. Um, it's about uh, $1,500 but we got it on sale for about $400 at Best Buy. It was pretty, it was, it was pretty good deal. Anyways, we're going to be going over my settings. Um, as in like graphics settings, uh, controller settings, keyboard and mouse settings, everything like that. Just settings in general on PC. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into this. Alright, so first we're at the graphics settings and what you're gonna have what you're gonna want to have it at is um full screen because you never want to be playing on windowed or window full screen next gonna uh, have it at um 920 by uh, 180 um and then for my laptop i have it on unlimited because i can run up to like 500 fps 400 500 fps and creative so i like to have the best uh fps for me um in pubs i have about 240 fps and then in competitive i have about again 240 so it's pretty good anyways um yeah that's really it for that um moving on to um actual graphics um for our brightness we have a 150 percent because my gaming monitor um i have it on pretty much the lowest brightness um this part right here for the cover blind mode is um, off currently, but I have it at the second option. I usually have it at 8 or 6. Um, moving on, I have 100% 3D resolution, um, far view distance, medium textures, and then low meshes. Obviously, you're going to have pretty good graphics with these settings on this computer at least. So, you know. Anyways v-sync is off you're gonna know want to have that off uh, i have show fps just so i can show you guys how much fps i'm actually getting in game for the sake of this video i don't usually have it on because it just drops your frames even more um so yeah and then for the um the rendering mode i have performance because it just gives you a lot more frames and it doesn't really look that good but it just helps you a lot with frames especially if you're on a laptop or something like that moving on to settings i'm playing on these these are all you um what i would recommend is um these uh loadout settings so i have shotgun as my first ar as my second smg is third and it should be the last two they should always be consumables and auto sort consumables to right is the best way you can go um let's look through these these are all your preferences
Anyways, moving on to HUD settings. This all depends on your monitor. Again, I have an HP monitor. It's 144 hertz, one millisecond response time. It's a really high quality monitor. I have my HUD scale at 65%. And then I have my net debug and my um, other thing for creative. It's like it's like ping, but like runtime. It's like creative runtime or something like that. I, like I don't really know how to explain it, but it just it takes off half your screen. I wouldn't recommend it. I have uh, network debug menu off because that's just your ping. I already know my ping's fine, so I kind of just have that um, turned off so it doesn't take up my screen. And it doesn't drop my frames moving on to mouse sensitivity stuff like that 8.0 for both depending on the dpi that you have for your mouse i have the air mouse it's a white mouse with rgb settings around 12,500 dpi pretty good all of those other settings are your preference um yeah those are all your preference mostly moving on to controller options again some of these are your preference but um for the slide and the edit hold time i just had those at random because i don't really use controller anymore for one but if you do want controller settings then this is the video for you um so the controller hold time is depending on what you use for your edit button I would not recommend using circle if you're on um, PS4 or anything like that. I wouldn't recommend using B, B if you're on Xbox. Um, slide time, that's all you. My build uh, multiplier and edit multiplier is both 2.5. I have, um, what's it called? I have advanced settings on. Um, as you can see, advanced uh, look sensitivity is at 43 and 40, I mean 42 and 41, sorry. All those other options are off, and then aim is 16 and 16. Exponential um, for uh, look type, and then obviously aim assist all the way up, and then the dead zone is all you, and then foot controller, you know, that's all you. Um, moving on to audio, we got about... 80% uh, audio, 100%, 50%, 100%, 50-50, these are all you. Um, and then all of these are your um, preference, but the audio quality will give you better performance if it's on low. Just saying. So if you want better performance, but you can risk um, audio quality, then that's the thing for you. That's what I'm doing. It's just better performance makes you a lot better at the game, honestly, if I'm saying anything. Um, these are all you right here. Um, these are all your preference right here. So, um, yeah, just choose all that stuff. That's all you. Um, moving on to keybinds. We got regular settings for moving and then left shift for sliding and crouching. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use scroll wheel for switching between weapons. And then fire is all that, you know, fire and shoot, uh, aim is all that regular stuff. Reload is R, use is E. And then harvesting tool, I use my, I press down, I press down, not scroll down, press down on my uh, scroll wheel button on my mouse. Therefore, I don't have to move any of my other fingers if I'm in a fight and I'm trying to move around a lot and I don't want to risk uh, using one of my fingers to uh, use a different keybind for uh, my harvesting tool so that's um, that's what I use I use I press down on the scroll wheel I click um, yeah but anyways we're gonna be using the scroll wheel for this I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second so for crotch wall building I don't really use that I just have a left control because if I do need to use it it's there um, for wall, I use my front mouse button, where my thumb is, and then uh, floor is V, and then back mouse button is stairs, roof is C, um, trap is T, um, place building that's regular, um, repair and upgrade, I don't really have um, 
like any use for that rotate building I don't really do it ro rotate buildings but I use R if I ever really need to change building materials is right mouse button building edit is F it helps you a lot uh, like it helps you a lot because it makes your editing faster it makes it easier from go to do it it's easier to go from D to F very quickly uh, I'll show you guys in a second left control for editing uh, crouching blah 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 select building edit regular and then reset building edit it makes resets much faster this is all your preference right here but um, to do the scroll wheel you're gonna go down to misc you're gonna see slot up and slot down make sure scroll wheel is going up when you're going slot down and then you pull you pull your scroll wheel, scroll wheel down when you're going slot up it you'll get it you'll get it in a second um, but yeah um, that's really it for the keybinds uh, combat controls and controller and stuff like that um, I use e-pad on the PlayStation 4 controller for edit because um, when I used to use left stick uh, like pressing down on left stick for edit it was really uncomfortable for my thumb it made my thumb hurt a lot I use uh, uh, right on d-pad for map and then um, e-pad for edit now it makes it a lot smoother and then I also use it for reset um, just makes it a lot faster but these are all really your preference the binds are your preference all that really matters is the actual controller settings like on the controller settings tab not the binds but these are my binds if you want to copy these down anyways moving on to creative which we're going to be going into here a second oh um okay um yeah i'm gonna see you guys in creative and yeah all right so as you can see i am in my creative map this is what i use for free building stuff like that as you can see i'm running around 340 to 350 frames that's just because i'm recording um, usually it's running around 350 to 400 sometimes even 500 anyways um, so this is how well the actual laptop runs and I'm gonna show you um, how well having F as edit and reset helps you edit a lot faster so what we're gonna do here we're gonna place two walls and um, I'm gonna show you. How, oh, I, I messed it up. Okay, the not mean to do that. Cut that. As you can see, it makes it a lot faster. Um, for you know, resetting your builds. Say maybe you need a little um window or something, right? You have a little window. Um. I'll show you so you have a little window right here you just took your shot and you want to edit it back and you want to do it really quickly you just double tap boom done there's your edit it's really really easy and it makes it a lot faster for especially new like uh, players like new to keyboard and mouse um, but yeah it just makes it a lot faster but um, that's really all I have for this video because you know I just went over settings all that stuff um, I hope you guys enjoyed my first PC video um, I will be streaming a lot more on twitch now um, 